we're going to look in a different way to create a boat in 3D Max today. We're going to start off with using our 2D objects in a line and create some splines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the ribs of the boat, so that's inside of the boat that the planks would be placed on. So we're going to start on the left hand side here and I'm not really going to worry too much about getting it straight, but I do want to make a little lip here at the top. We're going to curve this, and remember the way we curve this is click and drag. And that should give us a good side there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to line this up so that our edge is on this zero, zero point here. And then we're going to copy these. The way we're going to copy them is we're going to hold down our shift key. We're going to pull them over. And I'll make about 10 that way. I'm going to pull one over this way. And then I'll make about 10 this way. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate. I'm going to get where we can see everything here. All right, I'm going to rotate this. so that we get about 90 degrees because this is going to form the front of our boat here and I'm going to push this out. We're going to leave it on, make sure that it's on this axis and we're going to push it over to this one because again this is going to be the front of the boat here and we're going to have a curve off the front of the boat. We're going to rotate this one and this one's not quite as important we get it perfect we just want it to where it looks right and then we'll do one more small rotation here and then in the back of the boat We're going to leave that the way it's at right now. So we're going to select the back poly, uh, excuse me, the black, the back. We're going to select the back line. We're going to right click it. We're going to click attach. We're going to attach all of the lines together. Make sure you turn attach off. We're going to add a cross section modifier. You can see that it's kind of formed the front of our boat here. And then we're going to come down to surface and add a surface modifier. And you can see that it's given us kind of a boat shaped design there. Now from there we can go on to mirror that to create the other side. We can model the back. We could have added lines out here to create a curved back if we wanted to do that. It just gives us another way to model these compound surfaces so that we can create the shapes that we're looking for.